Hope you have a sweater because today is Monday, December 13th, and this is News at Noon with Dixie Tyler and Austin Horn. Congratulations to the winners of the Hawk the Halls Tree Trail. Best overall is 10th grade, best in show is 9th grade, most creative is 11th grade. At the middle school, the 7th grade came home with the best overall and the 6th grade won most creative. The 6th grade wants to say thank you to Kayla, Olivia, Emily, and Sierra for helping them complete the tree. Also a shout out to Kylie, Jalen, and Bum for taking the trees down to the other campus, carrying them back fully decorated. Congratulations to the winners of the Daleville Christmas Tournament. They are Carol High. The middle school STEAM lab, led by Ms. Javon McDuffie, is looking for items to build a catapult. If you happen to have extra PVC or wood laying around, they need it to complete a project before Christmas break. Items can be left at the front of the middle school. Congratulations to the band for putting on an excellent holiday concert. They now move into state assessment season and all state tryouts. Sonations, the Devil High Choir, had two successful trips out into the community this week, spreading holiday cheer. They are available by appointment to perform for your class during fifth period next week. Email Mr. Nichols if you would like to request a presentation. Students have volunteered to provide art for the state superintendent's art show that will be on display in the Capitol building in Montgomery mid-March. We can't wait to see what you come up with. The Intermediate Band will be caroling over at Wyndham Elementary on Monday of next week. Of this week, the 7th grade clarinet choir called the Jingle Bells will be performing in the lobby of Larry's Barbecue for lunch in, of, on Tuesday of this week. The Warhawk Watch is complete, completing a first semester review of Hawkeye, review, Hawkeye View. Students interested in making a submission should email me the editor, Dixie Tyler, or see me in person. Students not in yearbook or publications have the ability to join Quill and Squirrel Honor Society based on submissions. Don't miss your opportunity for another accolade. Beta Club tutoring is still taking place. Take advantage of the opportunity. Friday is the end of this nine weeks. Check your grades and make sure you signed up to receive text messages from PowerSchool. You will know that what you made on the test at the exact moment that the teacher posts it. In the spirit of Hawks Giving, we want to we want to let you know how you can give back to your community. Mrs. Azar, ESL instructor, is still taking money for her canned food drive. However, the seniors, the senior class led by Jacob, Jacob, and Jacob is sending a nanny goat through the Samaritan's purse to a third world country this holiday season. That nanny goat can produce well over a liter of milk for a family each day. In addition of being able to spawn yearlings that can be eaten, they want to challenge, challenge your class and your class to send a farm animal overseas. Yearbooks are still on sale. The link has been posted so you can ask your aunt to buy you a yearbook and not a new pair of fluffy socks. Guys, if you don't make suggestions, people are going to give you stupid stuff. Get a few family members together to purchase you a DHS yearbook. Right now, Andy is in the lead as the highest selling yearbook associate. You should buy some yearbooks for me. Devil City Schools has a new career coach available to assist students with career planning. Her name is Kara Birdsong. She has an office directly beside Mrs. Virgil. Take the time to stop by and meet her. Appointments with her can be set up by emailing her and requesting a meeting or meeting or through your homeroom teacher. Sorry. All sophomores, juniors, and seniors will have required meetings with her as the year progresses. She wants to make sure that you are aware of all the options available to you, as well as the benefits that come with each job. The weather today is foggy, with a high of 68 and a low of 60. We literally cannot see. Breakfast for tomorrow is a Pillsbury Maple Mini Waffle Sausage, assorted juice, and milk. Lunch is a cheeseburger, lettuce, tomato, peas and carrots, Rice Krispie Treat, pear halves, and milk. Christmas lunch will be served on Wednesday. Don't forget that next Friday is a half day and we have an E-Day scheduled for Monday and Tuesday of next week. That's all for today. Go, Go Warhawks! <laughs> Sorry, all of that next week's stuff should have been this week.